Bureaucracy. We all suffer from it. We all wish it would go away and leave us in peace. But so far, nobody seems to be doing anything about it. Well, all that's about to change as the government has set up a new office for the elimination of bureaucracy. I'm joined live by the head of the new OEB, Mr. Oswald Perkins. Good evening. Good morning, afternoon, evening, delete as appropriate. Yes. Um, right. Now, as I understand it, uh, the remit of the OEB is to cut down on red tape. Uh, is this true? Notwithstanding the provisions of section 486 paragraph 54 subparagraph 5c of the Interpersonal Communications and Understanding Act 2006, uh, I am able to inform you that the answer to your question uh, is very likely to be in the affirmative. Uh, however, I would advise you to consult the official documents as laid down by government uh, to ascertain the veracity of this statement. Uh, do you mean yes? I regret that I am unable to provide a clear and definitive answer to your question as it depends on many unforeseeable factors including future government policy and the budget allocated to us uh, as well. <clears throat> all right, we, we, we don't need to go through all of that. Um, can you tell me why this is a good use of taxpayers' money? Obviously, both we and the government fully understand the concerns of taxpayers uh, who wish to see that the funds they contribute are being allocated in a useful way. Uh, I can confirm that any and all funds that are allocated to us uh, will be utilised. OK, uh, you're going to cut down on bureaucracy. How? I beg your pardon? How are you going to cut down on red tape? I, I don't understand. What are your plans? Ah, uh, well, I can in fact quote from the uh, official documentation here. Uh, we will naturally need to ascertain uh, whether the perceived problem exists uh, and if so, to what extent. Uh, and so we plan to start by drawing up uh, plans for a framework within which a working party will operate to establish the criteria by which we can set up an administrative body to look into the possibility of conducting feasibility studies on the creation of structures necessary to produce a preliminary report on the best way to undertake the necessary investigations uh, prior to phase two of the process. And what is phase two? Uh, phase two uh, will of course be the setting up of a framework within which a working party will operate to establish the criteria. Right, well, um, thank you Mr Perkins. I'm afraid I'm going to have to stop you there. We have run out of time. That was Mr Oswald Perkins, the head of the new office for the elimination of bureaucracy. <clears throat> and now the weather. Hey, thank you. Uh, right, well, in accordance with uh, paragraph 483, section 4, subsection 5G of the Meteorological Phenomena Reporting and Forecasting Guidelines 1973, uh, I must caution you that the uh, data relating to future events are only estimates and actual temperatures may be higher or lower than those reported. Now, as we can see, there is a cold front coming in over from up.